We have to go wash the clothes. That was the perfect call out there. Once he got the block, he made a move, and he was headed to the end zone. Don't go out there trying to take your stuff.
number three. The third pose is going to be the most muscular. The most muscular. Go ahead. Muscular? Is there any competition to most muscular here? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Fuck super. O T O I C O N W D. Oh goddamn, bro. You said first body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what you mean first body? Say your first body count, bro. Like which body? What you talking about? Like which body? What you talking about?
solution is dried up. Yeah. <laughs> Aha, look out there. That's Dr. Spooky's robot. <laughs> Let's tell the mermaids. Cincinnati and a short kick taken at about the 16 and a decent return out to the 27 yard line.
give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, it's Mixon. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. 11, 11. Now it's Burrow. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Burrow to his old LSU teammate Chase for a bang of first. Nixon will try the right side. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties, and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. On third down, Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 38-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Here we go, here we go. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 38. 11, 11. 11, Thomas. They go back to the ground now with Mixon to the 36-yard line. Stop there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the tone early, ran through all types of tackles, and put the defense back on its heels. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Buried behind the line by Aziz Ojolari. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. 11 Thomas. 11 Mighty. 11 Mighty. 11 Thomas. We're scoreless after one.
This offense two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. the gun it's Burrow under pressure they got him again Kayvon Thibodeau he beat the old line and recorded the sack and when you go five wide like they just did there you can't really max protect can you no you cannot what you're hoping is that by going five wide you're forcing the defense into coverage and if you do that you get a chance to find some people downfield but if they audible themselves and go into a blitz then it's got to happen oh, right oh, now oh, or very lights quickly. out <laughs> or exactly right turn them out that plays over whoa 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 Fourth down, here's Joe Burrow. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 43. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat with the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. Now Jones. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Matt Breida, 27 yards. And the Giants post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point try, good by Godot. And that makes the score 7-0. Huh? Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. 
And they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here we go. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. 11, 11. Now it's Burrow. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. Finding room at midfield. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. again on second down. Burrow, throw left side complete to Chase. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 21. To the air again, Burrow. Another one into the hands of Jamar Chase. And he's going to be moving down just outside the 10. On second and inches, Burrow. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. 11 Thomas. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Right. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, Miami. second and goal. 11 MP, tight. 11 MP. Now Burrow. It'll be Nixon on the out route as the pass is caught. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Third and goal, Burrow. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Try and throw forward with Burrow. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And this Giants defense able to come up with a goal line stand. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they'll start from their own five, so you'd have to imagine they'll stay conservative. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. 
As he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Second and a yard. Jones looking for Shepard deep. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. This one from 46 yards out. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So not the greatest of first halves for them, but a little ray of light here at the end. The late turnover becomes three points before the break. Well, they certainly needed something positive to go their way. Maybe three points doesn't seem like a huge deal in the grand scheme of things, but at least it's something to build on. As they... Oh, and miscommunication on the lateral. The ball's out. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. On second down, here's Barkley. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And there was some of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Here's Jones to throw on third down. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. On first down, Jones. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. So second and 10, third quarter. Thanks for tagging along with us here from the Queen City of Cincinnati.
to throw again. Jones. And that is incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. in the slot in motion left. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking for Shepard deep. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. On third and 10, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these type of deep shots as this game moves along. They connected there. They expect to connect on more before this one's over. They'll look to throw again. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Throwing again on second and ten. Jones. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice I'm drive wondering. going, looking for the end zone. Possibly well, well, got a little well. bit too greedy right there. The Bengals drive about to get going. They take off, and he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong, and this is going to wind up a safety. That's exactly what they were aiming for defensively. A huge early play that cuts off any opposing momentum at the knees. As soon as that snap was made, they were flying to the ball and through the line. Great call from the coaching staff, and even better execution. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. It's taken to the 26. 